Yeah, well, when I talk to advisors, um, I think the 60-40 is certainly not dead or some ver- derivation thereof for most advisors. It is the benchmark or foundational portfolio um, for a variety of different reasons. Um, one, because it sort of is structurally uh, something that is been compelling for many decades. And two, you know, we have to recognize that there's elements of pure risk that exist in that business. And someone said, you know, these folks are running a business, which we have to appreciate, which um, I absolutely do. And so I think the question from their seat is, where are there good bang for the buck opportunities to help improve, you know, diversification without taking on too much peer risk, right? Because that's a that's a real thing that they have to to take into consideration for their client base. And so when, you know, at, at some level, it's a pretty straightforward set of thoughts. There's three assets in the world, three return streams that would meaningfully improve the return relative to the risk that a portfolio manager is taking on. And that's gold, diversified commodities, and low-cost <laughs> alpha strategies. Those are the three things that you can add to your portfolio that will help meaningfully. And so as a simple example, if you added, you know, gold, there's obviously easy ways to do that. Diversified commodities, there's easy ways to do that. Diversified, what I call sort of diversified alpha or balanced alpha, which are, uh, you know, low cost structure, you know, it's trend following, the variety of different trend following strategies. It's other alphas that maybe come from equity long short or, fixed income alphas, things like that. If you were to take 10%, take your 60-40 portfolio, put 10% in gold, 10% in commodities, and 10% in diversified or balanced alpha, you can get a 50% improvement. If you just look back through time, it's a 50% improvement in the sharp ratio of your portfolio, but you're still maintaining something like a, you know above 90% monthly correlation to the 60-40 portfolio. That's a pretty compelling story, right? That's the sort of story that if you're an advisor, you're getting a better bang for the buck, you're getting better diversification, you're getting lower drawdown drawdowns from a a likelihood perspective, but you're not taking on that business risk. And so when I'm talking to advisors, that's the conversation I'm having, which is how do you make the first moves in that direction to help improve the diversification and the consistency without taking on too much risk? And I think many advisors find that very compelling. And like, look, if you look over the past 18 months, really since the Fed started tightening, there are only three assets that are up since the Fed started tightening. And what are those? gold, diversified commodities, and hedge funds, you know, hedge fund style strategies, right? Balanced alpha. Those are the three assets that are up. No, so the so then the the question I think then becomes how do you create how do you leg like into those and the way Corey talked about, I think that's a really important point, doing that thoughtfully. It's not a, a day one choice. And how do you construct those? How do you find those good managers, low cost balance, particularly in the alpha side of things, how do you create balanced alpha so that you're not too overweight, you know, equity alpha or trend alpha, but how do you create that balance between them so that you can create return consistency in your alpha that's better than each one of the pieces alone? 